Another day of strikes in Athens. Taxes and Social Security contributions are up sharply, while services and benefits are being slashed. The protests are directed against the government and also against those who don't pay as much into the system as they should. If they had paid all that sum, there wouldn't be any shortages of money in the Social Security. But the problem is not financial, it is political. The protesters claim that the richer a tax dodger is, the more likely authorities are to be lenient. The Greek Public Revenue Agency is in charge of tax collection. Its new boss, who took over in January, is lawyer George Pitsilis. We have uh, uh, a unit that is destined to audit specifically the large uh, enterprises, the large companies. We have uh, a unit that audits specifically the high wealth individuals. But the units are only just getting down to work. At a marina outside Athens in the port city of Piraeus, we meet Nick Russos from the Tax Justice Network. It's an NGO that campaigns worldwide. Yachts here worth millions belong for the most part to rich Greeks. Russos explains what often happens when the state tries to collect tax from the wealthy. When cases go to court and uh, you have a, a big company appearing in court to contest the, the fine with uh, an army of lawyers, and the state is only represented by the poor guy who um, filed the, the fine. And this poor guy, a tax official, is regularly outgunned by the big shots. It's estimated that the 5,000 biggest offenders owe the state around 70 billion euros in back taxes. The Customs Authority is also part of the Public Revenue Agency. It's beefing up operations. We were allowed to film a raid at the port in Piraeus. Inside this container, the authorities find a huge shipment of undeclared cigarettes from Turkey, worth about 2.2 million euros. The dynamic new customs authority scores a major hit like this almost every week now. We have uh, made a better uh, information net. Uh, we have uh, improved the, co the cooperation with uh, the EU authorities, all of etc., and other uh, law enforcement uh, authorities. Major busts are up about 50 percent this year. Pitsilis wants the rest of his agency to follow suit. If the whole tax administration does better, then in the future there will be a need for lesser uh, taxes, let's just say, if we can collect what is already being uh, imposed under law. In downtown Athens, fair tax campaigner Nick Russos shows us around. The crisis has driven a lot of businesses into bankruptcy. Shuttered storefronts line many streets. It's estimated the shadow economy accounts for a full quarter of national output, all of it unreported and untaxed. With this heavy taxation, and uh, I'm afraid that with the new social security reform, this is going to be even worse. Um, there is a huge in incentive for people to try to enter the gray economy. But Pitsilis says there are ways to address and solve that problem. I mean, you cannot have an auditor for every uh, businessman. It cannot work like that. So we need to promote cashless transactions. And when I say promote, also we have to reflect on incentives for cashless transactions. One option is to offer a tax rebate for people who purchase goods or services with a credit or debit card. But it isn't clear how that would work. George Pitsilis and his team have their work cut out for them. The pressure to succeed, and succeed fast, is immense. Further strikes and protests are likely. Ordinary Greeks are angry. They're tired of having to pick up the bill for the wealthy members of society who aren't paying their fair share.